Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Crime Centric. This being a show where we talk about crime dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about Season 3, Episode 9 of The Equalizer. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So, uh, first and foremost, this episode revolves around Tim. Tim is out on, I think he's out on parole? Yes, for... Um, for his crime, like basically he was a safe cracker. And I think the last job, maybe, maybe it wasn't this particular job, but he was with a guy named Randall. They, they, he was part of his crew and Randall has killed a cop in the past. He's always like, he's not afraid to go down the extremely violent route when it comes to getting their jobs done, but he's never been caught. They can never tie anything to him. And T Tim, who's just trying to live a good life for his brother, Sean, because it's like, right, my parents died a long time ago and I'm here. I'm the only one that could look after Sean. I promise I'd always be there for him but then I got locked up for four years and he's trying to live his life on the straight and narrow. And so when Randall pops up to him being like, hey, I can give you uh, this opportunity, he's like, nah, until it's like, no, you're going to do this because there's no, like, I'm not giving you a choice. Your brother is, uh, your brother's uh, in my, I have your brother and I will kill him if you don't do this. And so he turns to Robin and his situation ends up putting Robin in this interesting spot because Dante's trying to go after Randall because Randall is someone like Randall's a very bad guy that's always slipped through the cracks. And on top of that, he's a cop killer, too. So there's extra motivation, especially for Dante, because he made a promise to that cop's daughter. Like, hey, I promised his four year old daughter that I would bring her justice. I would get justice for her dad. And this is my opportunity. But Robin, in an attempt to protect Tim, who's getting mixed up in all of this and Sean, who's being threatened for all this, it puts like obviously Dante put his trust in Robin, even though he's like, right, I got to do this by the book. Like I, I got to put like taking him down first and foremost. But it's like, if you do that, like Tim and his brother could get caught up in a crossfire with all of this. Tim can end up going down or end up getting killed because of this. And Sean can end up getting killed because if the cops get involved, uh, Randall's going to immediately think, um, he's going to immediately think that, uh, Tim had something to do with it, and even Robin told Tim, like, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta stall for time." But the problem is, the job ended up getting moved up a lot quicker. Uh, well, because I think what expedited it was like Harry showed up as like an inspector at the restaurant, the pizza place that they were hiding Sean. And I think the moment that happened, they were like, "Oh, some random dudes here. Let's get out of here." So it's like, right, we don't want to take the chance, like, because. I mean, but also Randall talks about it later on the reason why he like expedited the job. It's like right. Uh, because the guy who had called him kind of already was kind of having cold feet when it came to his uncle or whatever, because this is whole thing's about some like very expensive coins. And I think that's what made Randall decide to move the job up quicker. Cause it's like, right, we all know the job tomorrow, but let's move it now quicker. Now just, you know, he's like, that's how I've always managed to stay ahead and not get caught is kind of, you know, I guess changing stuff. Uh, no, it was uh, always assuming that the cops are nearby or, you know, always trying to stay a step ahead of them, essentially. So I think a lot of that contributed because if they had just a little bit more time, Robin and them could have gotten to Sean sooner and a lot of this could have been taken care of. But Tim had to kind of go through with the job. Luckily, they were able to put mail on the squad by having her replace one of the, the people. Uh, I love that Harry was like, oh yeah, like this guy, like the, the, no, the, the person that's like the hacker on the team. It's like, oh, I can replace that person. It's like, yeah, they got caught six times. He's like, oh, like, cause, uh, Dante was making comparisons, but Harry's like, yeah, that person got caught six times. I never got caught. But Mel's like, you did get caught once by the CIA. He's like, that's beside the point. Uh, but I love when they got to the last person. It's like, oh, this person has military experience, this and that. And it's like, and Dante's like, well, who's going to fill that void? And Mel's like, R really? This guy? And Harry's like, honey it's okay he's still getting to know you so it's like right um because i thought at first i was like are you going to try and get dante to fill that void or something like that or was it going to be robin but it's like no nah, mel because uh robin's on trying to track down sean and Once again, Randall is like isn't like he he is pretty uh proficient in what he does because he ended up uh once again, uh, they had, like, the police were watching the place, but they were able to slip out through, like, the sewer drains or whatever. And so, and Mel had to destroy her earpiece because they were, uh, like, uh, one of his, one of Randall's people was picking up a signal from, like, oh, like, everyone's cell phones got taken. So, it's someone, like, leaking something, something, like, is it, is it a, um... Like, he was, like, wondering if there were some other, like, devices nearby. And it's like, so Mel had to cut off contact with everybody, so. 
And when Robin finally did get to Sean, the problem is, though, like, she didn't have any soul service. Sad thing is, he was in pretty bad shape, because he is uh, diabetic, so I think it finally started hitting him. And I think that also, like, hit a little too close to home, because, like, my mom's diabetic, and I've seen her kind of be in pretty bad condition when, like, her, like, when she hadn't, like, taken her insulin, when she hadn't eaten and stuff, like, I've, I've seen her gotten, like, 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 loopy, and it kind of freaked me out a couple years ago. So it kind of reminded, like, it wasn't like that, but it was, it was kind of like that. So that was kind of like, oh, that's a little too close to home. I'm, I'm sure other people have been in that situation. But I can only assume that's why he, he was looking like that, because we do know that he's diabetic. And I think uh, probably he had went so long without his insulin that it probably happened like that. So, I mean, the job sadly went off, not, not without a hitch, but it went successfully because Tim was able to open the uh, safe but well, the problem is that uh, uh, cops rolled up too quickly and he immediately thought it was Mel that was the rat. And obviously Tim wasn't about to let someone die. So he ended up protecting Mel and Randall sadly ended up getting away. Now, uh, obviously Mel was handling things on her own and uh, Tim got knocked out. But I felt like uh, like the moment like the guy got the upper hand on Mel, I was like, OK, I was like either Rob or uh, Dante's going to save. I was hoping that Dante was going to go back because he hurt her in pain. I was like, OK, he's going to go back for her. I was like, and help her. Because my thought was like, because Rob, we know it was on the way. So I'm like, okay, so she's going to get there in time. He's going to save and help Mel. And then Robin's going to um, end up stopping Randall. That's what I thought was going to happen. And it's like, nope, Randall straight up got away. That was an ending I wasn't expecting. I was like, oh, wow, he actually just got away with it. Because Dante was like so dogged about going after him. But it's like, right, he heard Mel was in trouble. And so... He ended up going back to help her, letting Tim know, like, hey, your brother's okay, so... But even, like, Tim was, like, so grateful. He's like, thank you, man, thank you. And you can see that look on Dante's face. He wasn't as receptive of, like, giving that, like, oh, like... If it was any other situation, he would have been happy for him. But the problem is, is, like, coming back for Mel costs him bringing him... That, and he take, he's upset with Robin, you know? It's like, right, I was supposed to do my job, but I put my trust in you... You know, because she even said, like, when have I ever let you down? And she kind of let him down in this regard. It's like, Randall is gone. It's like, well, he'll, he'll surface when he gets... It's like, no, that man will disappear. Like, he he is so hard to catch on a normal basis. He will never pop up to, like, do another job because he's set for life. All he has to do is fence those coins. Maybe you can get him on that front, but it's just like, yeah, he's in the wind, you know? And I do believe there will be something at some point that probably circles back to this Randall situation, but... This hit pretty hard for Robin because for her, it's like so she asked a friend to trust her and she feels like she let him down. It's like, yeah, I know this is not the end of the world, but it feels like it because it isn't just I mean, obviously, Dante's more than a friend. And so it's like because for her, she specifically asked him to do this for her, to hold off as soon as possible as much as possible, and he did it for her because of, because he trusts her, because of everything they've been through together, how much he's helped her, and it's like, she was trying to save lives, but it's also like, yeah, Randall got away with the, everything, he won in the end, he, he's a cop killer, he got away, and it's like, it, it's, because Robin was kind of in, like, do, trying to do the best she could for both Sean and Tim, and it's like, right, if Dante had tried to take, um, had tried to take Randall off the, the playing field, like if he tried to go as soon as he wanted to, Tim would have gotten caught up in it and Sean most likely would be dead. And that's the thing, like, I don't even think would should, might, most likely would be, I think he is dead or something like that, or, you know, he would, I mean, he would be dead is what I'm trying to say. So this is the best outcome that, it, I mean, the best outcome would be like, they got Sean, they were able to help out Tim and were able to take down Randall, but, you know, two out of three, it, like, it could have easily gone the other way where it's like maybe the other two out of three of maybe Tim was okay and maybe Randall got taken out, the, uh, you know, uh, taken down, but Sean would be dead, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's a situation of what if, what if, what if, but it's like, yeah, it's already done, this is how, this is where we things standing and it's sad too because obviously Dante and Robin had their issues in the past but they've kind of buried that Dante's kind of become a part of the team but I do think because he is the cop he is he has kept some distance between that and now because it also plays into that aspect that uh Mel and Robin there's still kind of some awkwardness around it's a, and even uh Robin's like the fact of the matter is, it's not just you, Mel. The fact of the matter is, she had talked about it with Dante last episode of 
her personal life and her professional life are bleeding together. And Dante's in that interesting spot where he is both professional and personal in that regard. So that's why it's kind of like a double fold of like, I heard like mess you like, especially where, what our dynamic is professionally and um, personally. So that's why she feels like she let, she, he's the last person she wants to let down, you know? Especially because she knows how much Dante's going to beat himself up about it, too. So, like I said, I just I thought that was such an interesting development on that front. I mean, yeah, Tim and Sean reunited, and Sean heard about what his brother was willing to do to save him, and it's like, yeah, like I because he Sean never visited uh, Tim the four years they were in prison. He was in prison. It's like I understand why. Like I made a promise to look after him, and I failed him, you know. So, but I think this will situation will lead to them. You know, building a better life, taking that second chance they were given. Because even Robin was like, yeah, she knows about second chances. And I think that you could say, I mean, that's the title of the episode. But you, I think you could say like, hey, that's where things between her and Mel are currently. Her with this whole new di dynamic. Uh, well, her and Dante are kind of in their kind of second chance phase, I guess. I guess we could make the argument maybe now after this whole situation, Robin's going to try and do everything she can to make up for it given enough time. But it's still, she's still got to live and deal with those feelings for now until she is able to make it up to Dante. And once, I can only assume the only way to really do that is to help track down Randall and take him down. So I don't know if that's going to be like a future case in the season. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm playing catch up. So like, Episodes 11 and 12 are already out at the time of recording this. I've just... Uh, 10, 11, and 12. Because I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm that far behind. So, I don't know if any, that comes up in any of those episodes. Or maybe the Randall stuff just hasn't circled back around yet. You know, uh, storyline-wise. But either way. There was also a little bit with... Um, Vi in this episode... Uh, the people that her and Delilah played cards against last time, it's like, oh, they're cheating. But it's like, no, 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 I got it. This time we're going to like take them, uh, uh, take them down, and we're gonna. It's gonna be so sweet and savory, and they did. But the problem is that that couple they're trying to move to Florida to be closer to grandkids, try to get their house appraised, but it's being appraised lower than what it's really worth. Even though there's a house with a smaller yard, but basically about the same size, they got appraised much more than theirs. But it's a white family, and the purse, the appraiser is white too. So um, Vi ended up helping out. She got the the boss lady to who uh, who is of this uh, home appraising. Uh, had her do it, then had the guy in question come and appraise it, and he appraised it much lower than she did. And it's like, right, he got fired on the spot. And it's like, yeah, there's other people out there who are going to do stuff like that. But the thing is, at least we got one bad guy out of the way, a guy that's going to shortchange some uh, a family, uh, a family or a couple just because they're uh, not white, you know. So, so Vi was able to kind of come through and help. I, I also want, I mean, I think Vi probably would have done that on her own, but I wonder, is that also an influence from like, you know, all the good she knows that Robin does. So maybe that kind of influenced her to be like, no, like I see something that I know I can be able to do something about. I mean, to be fair, that's already in Vi. I mean, that's, you know, that kind of runs in the family. I think that's where, you know, um, Robin gets it from anyway. So it's more like, you know, Robin kind of got that from Vi, you know, that, you know, because we know that Vi is the type of person to stand up for any injustice. So, but I wonder if Robin's kind of been an influence in that regard of just the good that she tries to do to help so many people has that influence Vi even more so. Like she would already do it, but go even further above and beyond for people, especially those who are close to her that she knows are, are kind of being systematically screwed over, you know? So. But also, um, I'm curious to see what happens with Vi and Delilah when it comes to... I mean, once again, Robin's kind of adjusting to her new circumstances of, like, personal and professional bleeding over. But also because Vi and Delilah had and probably never really seen Robin that low after everything with Dante. Because it's just, like, because of how much that relationship, how much that dynamic means to her. And that's why it cuts so deep, because it means that much, you know, so... I'm interested to ultimately see where all that ends up taking us going forward into the next episode. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.